Tourism Games Transformer Collector Festival Dealer. Alright, today we're going to talk about the 5 highest Transformer G1 box sold on eBay in July 2021 and accounted um, so for 5 figures. So to come to number 5, we have um, the Transformer set. Uh, this is actually a Spanish version. Uh, I have the, the 5 characters that make up the uh, Bruticus, Swindle, Vortex, Blast Off, on a Slot, and a Draw. So let's click on to this um, eBay listing. And then uh, we'll click onto this. Um, let's go scroll down here and we'll take a look at it right here. And so you can tell um, this is uh, in Spanish, so it's not uh, in, in English version. Uh, and then this one, uh, so let's go ahead and click on the next. So this one is rated 8, 8, uh, 85 right here by AFA. Uh, even it's just goes out this is a Spanish version. Uh, and then we'll go on the next one. Um, and then we'll go, um, this is the, the back of one of the cards right here. And then we'll go on the next one. Um, okay, and then uh, this is a uh, bra right here. And then we have, um, uh, this is the, the big one, oh, but they call it Old Slack right here though. That's the Spanish name instead of um, um, the Onslaught there. And then we have, uh, Blast off right here. Um, and this is, let's go down here a little bit. Uh, it seems like this is uh, graded in 80 right here. So these all have different grades here. And next one we have Vortex. And Vortex is graded as 75 right here. And then we have uh, Vortex right here. Okay, we did that one ready. All right, coming to number four, we have Transformer G1 uh, 1984 Optimus Farm. Uh, with AFA qualified grade of uh, 80. Uh, and this one so far, well, this one has a suggested price of 2999 but it actually sold for 2800 And um, you can tell by the, let's click on to the profile. Let's click on the picture so we can look at it. Um, so this is definitely um, an original box. So, because you can tell, um, we'll go right here. Um, the A counts, the F click A right here. And then the, we also have the, um, Let's go to the back of the box and then the the, the, the telltale sign on the uh, of a uh, knockoff or we issue the knockoff uh the ravage head will be cut off so this is definitely uh an original box here and obviously it's being created by um uh, a company so they definitely know, should know what they're doing All right, coming to number four, we have a Nettle um, Transformer that's not made in this, uh, that's not made for this uh, United States, though. This is a Japanese uh, version. Uh, this is Transformer Headmaster, rated 1987, Finch G1. Um, it's a gift set, so you can click on, so for $3,206.70. Let's click on to this, and we'll, uh, we'll get a better look at it in, in, in picture here. So we'll scroll down a little bit. Okay, so uh, this is label C131. And we'll definitely, uh, the box looks pretty good shape though. I mean, um, seems like the, uh, all right, looks, looks pretty good. All right, coming number two, we have uh, uh, Transformers, um, 1984 Magnetron, still in the box, and it's graded uh, uh, an Q80. Uh, so this is, uh, so for some down for ninety nine dollar and plus fifty dollars shipping. However, uh, if you click onto it, um, th it's um, it did not. I mean, the buy it was sold, but it seemed like the buy did not pay for it, so it was uh, relisted again. Uh, so it's still uh, an active listing. All right, coming number one, we have Transformer Swift G One Dinobot to complete nineteen eighty four Hasbro. Um, this one sold for fifteen thousand dollars with only one bid though. Uh, so in July eleven, and fifteen thousand dollars. I mean, this person pay that much, and I would have um, at least get like a graded toy though. But it was, it was so in um, green spot. So let's click onto that. So how do you know um, if this is uh, a knockoff or, or, or original? So let's see what the um, the person described it though. So let's put them. Um, but the, um, the sale put down, condition is new, 
For my personal collection, it was only taken out of the box to display. I never pull any stickers out or put um, any on. The only thing I can tell, say about this transform is that it's lightweight to the box from storage. Also, it was purchased from Japan two years ago. I can't say whether or not it is a knockoff because it transformed perfectly and the box is in great shape. It's a 1984 on it. And that being said, some of the weapons fit reduced, which I am not sure if the original did or not. Just want to be on, as honest as possible. So enjoy it because it's a great transform and works perfectly. So, um, so I purchased a couple of years ago to Japan. So, I mean, it doesn't mean if you buy some in Japan, it's original, but let's just see if it's a, a knockoff or, um, uh, um, original. So let's go to a uh, current eBay listing. Um, the, we have a current eBay listing. Uh, this is uh, a G1 swoop. Uh, and then it has it's, it's a great. So let's let's compare the two though. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, um, one. So no problem is if you look at it, um, let's cut them right here. It seems a little more fickle. Than the rest of the auto columns, so that's an indication that it is uh, a knockoff, though. So, you can tell this right here is a little more thicker than so. Let's go to the um, let's go to the um, the one that's been uh, active listed. So, you can tell this one, uh, the column is almost the same size as this one, though. The other one's a little more thicker, so this is definitely original. And if you look down here. Um, there's a little of a gap right here on, on the original, and then on the one that sold for fifteen thousand. So, um, this one, you know, how, there's not too much of a gap though. That's an indication that is a knockoff right there. Um, so let's go. Uh, so sometimes these are hard to tell, but the most obvious sound, uh, the most obvious thing you can tell is um, I'll show you here. Um. There is a dotted line right here, though. Um, so that, in, that indication is a knockoff right here. And in the original, uh, let's go back to this one here, and then let's click on, um, click on to this box right here. So you can tell um, they don't have a dotted line right here, though. So um, I hear you say this, so the, the one that sold for fifteen thousand dollars is definitely a knockoff, though. So I'm not quite sure um, what we can do about it, though. Uh, we can somehow. Um, Tell eBay uh, that this was definitely a knockoff, even though the seller say he's not sure it was a knockoff or not. So, yeah, definitely this line right here, though, and that's in case it's a knockoff right here. I mean, there's a couple other ways you can tell, too, but those are the most obvious signs from just by looking at the box. So, well, uh, thank you for watching um, uh, um, my channel. Uh, if you enjoyed the, the content, please like and subscribe and comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye.